every person has the right to uh, the right to peacefully and while unarmed to assemble, to demonstrate, to picket, and to present petitions to public institutions. And I hereby release the accused person, admit the accused person to a bond of 10 million with two suitable charges. The judiciary bail and bond policy uh, guidelines of March 2015 have over time guided uh, judges and magistrates in bail and bond decision making. Uh, courts are usually guided by the following factors in grant in, uh, on whether uh, in making the decision of whether or not to grant uh, a, a bond. Number one is the nature of the charge and the seriousness of the punishment should the accused person be found guilty. Secondly, is the strength of the prosecution's case. Third, is the um, um, character and antecedents of the accused person. Fourth is the failure of the accused person to observe bail and bond terms. Um, the other factor is the likelihood of the accused person to interfere with witnesses. Another factor that uh, courts must consider is um, the need to protect the victims of crime. The courts also consider the relationship between the accused person and, poten uh, and the potential witnesses. In, this, uh, uh, um, in making this decision, I'll also consider whether or not the accused person is a flight risk. I'll also consider whether the accused person is gainfully employed. Most importantly, I'll consider public order, peace, and security, the need for public order, peace, and security. Uh, last but not least, the, protect uh, the protection of the accused person himself. I've also uh, taken careful consideration uh, having taken careful consideration of all the above, I've also considered the offence for which the accused person is charged with and the value of the property uh, that was lost, that is approximately 37 million. I've also considered um, the rights of the accused person under Article 49, sub Article 1H of the Constitution, that the accused person uh, is, um, has a right to be released on reasonable bond terms. Um, I've also considered the sanctity of private property as provided for under Article 40, sub Article 1 of the Constitution. Uh, lastly, I've also considered, um, finally, I've also considered the provisions of Article 37 of the Constitution, which uh, provides for the right to picket 